In the fall of 1991, the Oakland Hills firestorm swept across the hills of the East Bay, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. By the time the flames subsided, 25 lives had been lost and nearly 3,000 homes had been destroyed. The damage inflicted by the Hills Fire provides a tragic reminder that wildfire is an unfortunate fact of life in the Bay Area. The area's dry, windy climate, coupled with its hilly landscape and increasingly dense population, makes it a prime location for fires to start and spread quickly. But although wildfire in the East Bay is not entirely preventable, its causes can be managed and its consequences minimized. Through effective management of the vegetation that provides fuel for fires, public agencies can ensure that when fires do start, they are more manageable and less likely to cause damage to life, property, and natural resources. With this aim in mind, the Fire Department of the East Bay Regional Park District has implemented a proactive policy of fuels management that seeks to avert tragedy before it strikes. The following video presentation is designed to provide an overview and explanation of the department's program. An area's susceptibility to wildfire can be determined by a set of several key factors, including weather, topography, and the types of fuels present. Once a fire starts in a particular area, the interaction of these three elements will determine how quickly flames will develop and spread. There are three main factors that influence fire behavior, and fuels is the one that we can manage the best. The other two factors are weather and topography, and we simply don't have efficient capabilities of managing those at this point. When applied to the landscape of the East Bay, these risk factors illustrate just how vulnerable the area is to wildfire. For much of the year, the East Bay's weather makes it a particularly fire-friendly environment. During the spring and summer months, temperatures increase and average rainfall drops off to half an inch or less per month, drying out vegetation and turning the East Bay Hills into a tinderbox. Adding to the hazard, these months also bring the Diablo wind, a dry, hot wind that reaches speeds of up to 40 miles per hour and carries with it the power to fan even small fires quickly out of hand. Further increasing the risk of wildfire in the area is its topography. Fire spreads faster uphill than on flat ground, and in a hilly environment like the East Bay, a fire in the wrong place can spread quickly, threatening both people and natural resources. Finally, the nature of fuels found in most of the East Bay makes it highly susceptible to fire. As the area has grown in population, the composition of local fuels has changed. Much development has taken place in the hills, where houses are located in the midst of trees and other vegetation. The introduction of humans into the fire zone has promoted the accumulation of fuels by hindering the natural processes by which vegetation is controlled. The result is that when fires break out, they spread faster and do more damage than they would under natural circumstances. In the face of these challenges, the department has implemented a policy designed to minimize the risk of destructive wildfires, safeguarding East Bay residents and the natural resources they cherish. By reducing fire-prone vegetation in strategically chosen areas throughout the Park District, the Fire Department can reduce the threat posed by wildfire to East Bay communities. Anytime you have a heavy fuel load, and a heavy fuel load is when you have an abundance of the grasses, the brush, and the trees all together in an area, that it's going to create a flame length that when engine companies get on scene, they cannot control it and it's going to escape their suppression efforts. Effective fuels management also promotes the ecological health of the East Bay landscape. The hills of the area are a fire-dependent ecosystem, and in their natural state rely on the occasional fire to clear out and revitalize the landscape. Many indigenous plants, including the California poppy, thrive in the wake of fire. When a habitat goes without fire for an extended time, it often allows for the displacement of indigenous plants by invasive, non-native species. By engaging in periodic prescribed burns, the department can help maintain the natural ecological balance of the parklands, ensuring that native plant species continue to grow and thrive. It's been well documented that California is a fire environment. And so much that we appreciate about California and its landscapes and the parks that we manage are a result of fire and the influence that fire has had on those landscapes. With the help of funds provided by Alameda and Contra Costa County voters through Measure CC, the department is able to carry out a district-wide program of fuels management that looks towards protecting the hills in the present and the future. Since the terrain encompassed by the district varies widely, the department uses approaches custom-tailored to each situation. The Park District uses a variety of methods to manage the fuels in the East Bay Hills. 
That includes tree removal using traditional logging techniques, as well as heavy equipment such as masticating machines, hand labor to cut brush, and weed eating to cut the grass. We also use prescribed burning in select areas and goat grazing. Preventing wildfire in the East Bay is a community effort. By working together to manage fuels and minimize the risk of destructive wildfires, private individuals and public agencies can increase the likelihood that the delicate balance of life in the East Bay Hills will continue undisturbed well into the future. The Fire Department of the East Bay Regional Park District has a plan for managing fuels in both the short and long term, and has begun to carry out this plan with the support of the district's constituents. Looking back to the devastation of the past and forward to the potential of the future, the East Bay Regional Park District is hard at work creating a safer East Bay. To learn more about ongoing fuels management activities, go to www.ebparks.org.